To make the world's biggest bounty egg, we went to an ostrich farm to locate a giant ostrich egg. For fun, we tried various science experiments with different sized bounty eggs, including making a giant bouncy good egg going on a parachute ride. Will good egg survive a parachute drop? My friend came along with us to visit the big ostrich and emu farm. Feeding these big birds are quite fun and a little scary. These ostriches definitely look super hungry. One more, you don't have to fight. There you go. Must be very tasty. <laughs> you can look at it, okay? Look away. She's like, they're, look at the ostrich. they're chomping. Oh! <laughs> hi, Emu. Hi, Emu. Hi. Oh, he's saying hi. I don't think hey, this Emu is. It looks like this little hungry. year. Oh, this one's coming. Say hello. She's very fair. She's like, everybody should get some. Not interested? Yeah. A little bit higher, my dear. A little bit higher. Look at how fierce they are. Well, they're so tall. Yeah, I think they're like six feet. Huh? Yes, they can go up to six feet. There. When they feed, it's like a battle. Uh huh. Oh, they live up to 80 years. Okay. It's a long life. They have to eat four pounds of food. Wow. No wonder they're so hungry. This is a big ostrich egg and a little regular egg, but I'm not sure if it's a chicken egg. It's a chicken egg. Oh. <laughs> and this is a coil egg, and it's really tiny and too bitty. Yeah. Whoa. It's really heavy yeah. and very giant. Smell it. And it smells so good to smell it, Mommy Mmm. Mmm. Smells nice. It smells interesting, right? Yeah. Look at this giant ostrich egg compared this to this little tiny quail egg. So do you know how many chicken eggs are in a big ostrich egg? Size wise? Like 20? Yeah, you're very close. It's like 25 chicken egg. The volume of 25 chicken egg is equals one big giant ostrich egg. <gasps> How much ostrich is in an ostrich egg? Yeah, usually if there's an ostrich in the ostrich egg, there's one ostrich. But this one has no ostrich. It's just egg. <laughs> so we're gonna do a few science experiments today with these eggs. Do you know you can stand on the ostrich egg and it won't break? Yeah, I know that. You know that? Yeah, you know that? yeah I don't want to try that because I'm really scared if I fall. Okay, it's then mommy will try to stand on it. Do you think mommy will crack the egg? Yes! You think I'll crack the egg? Yeah! No, I don't think I'm gonna crack the egg. But do you know how heavy ostrich is? Ostrich is really big. One million pounds. <laughs> Infinity pounds. Oh. So Mommy Bee will stand on the ostrich egg. <laughs> I don't think it'll break. Kay think it will break. See who's right. Oh, it's just scary if I break it. <laughs> Two feet? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you're standing on the egg. Yeah, I can do a for egg. Okay. Whoa, you did it! Good job! <laughs> so, Kay thinks I'm gonna crack the eggs. Mommy B thinks I'm not gonna crack the eggs. Now I, I think you won't crack the eggs. What do you think? Do you think I'm gonna crack the eggs? Don't hold it! Your legs have to touch the bottom! So now we're gonna make bouncy eggs. So we're gonna put the egg in a jar. This cup. cup. And yeah. this is cups and gas jars. Can we do it? You got it? Uh, giant egg. I'm gonna tilt it so I don't... Now that egg is inside. Okay. Whoa. So the parents should be the one pouring the vinegar. We're putting the vinegar because the vinegar is going to dissolve the shell. After 24 hours, all the shells kind of peel off or go off from the egg. Then we're only left with the film. Then they'll become fancy. Now we're just gonna wait 24 hours. 48 hours later. So now it's 48 hours after we put the eggs in vinegar. Let's see what happens. What happened to the eggs? So this is the quail egg. Here is the egg. See all the skin kind of peeling off. It's now bouncy. I think we put it in vinegar too. <laughs> it's now bouncy. So here's the ostrich egg after 48 hours. To my surprise, it's still kind of hard. Look at that. 
I think it's because the ostrich eggshell is very, very tough, very thick. So let's see how long it'll take for a new baths of vinegar to dissolve the thick shell. Meanwhile... Hi, Katie! Oh. <laughs> I was leaving all the cameras so pay attention. Okay. Look at these oh. fancy eggs! Look at that! Oh no! Boing, 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 boing. It's like so bouncy. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, uh, mommy just broke that one. You wanna bounce it? Let's see what happens. The shadow. Oh, so bouncy. I bet my soul, man. What are we gonna do, Katie? We're gonna make the eggs have our favorite color, and then I think we're gonna make it glow in the dark. Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Can I choose the first color? Sure. I think I want the purple. Okay, so I, I think it's... Can you just put it in here? Do that. Okay. Just be happy, happy. Just be happy, happy. la di da di da di da la di da di da di da So, we're just gonna leave this overnight. And then, let's check it out tomorrow. la di da di da di da di da the next day. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light off and you're gonna turn the purple light on. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that one's so pretty. See that? Wow. Cool, look at this. So shiny. Three weeks later. Wow, after three weeks, more than three weeks, we finally have a glimpse of a bouncy ostrich egg. Oh my goodness. At one point, we're not even sure it's gonna work. But look at this, we're finally there. The little quail bouncy egg. Oh, the little gosh. regular egg, chicken egg. Now we have the super bouncy ostrich egg. Look at this, you could kind of see it a little bit. Oh, shell? Sure. The egg yolk. You see that? I can't see the egg. Oh. We thought it would be fun to make a good egg bouncy egg, since the good egg is one of Kay's favorite book characters when she was little. As part of our science experiment, we want to see if the giant good egg bouncy egg can survive a parachute drop. Let's give the good egg lots of soft padding in the parachute basket. Good egg! It's time for the big day. Hope you're nice and comfy because we're gonna go parachuting. <laughs> so we're now putting a little seat belt for the egg so that when it falls, it won't fall out, hopefully. And Kay's idea is to make a crisscross. So we're gonna do like a crisscross seat belt for the egg. I think that's a great idea. And we're gonna add the spongy styrofoam underneath the basket. Hopefully it'll take some of the impact off of the basket and put the weight on the rim of the basket. So hopefully that will make the egg more safe. We're at the park today and we're gonna do the egg parachute. Hope it goes well. Yeah, looks... Ready? Okay, good egg. Oh, I guess the parachute and the foam on the side didn't help enough. It totally landed sideways. We were sad that the egg drop science experiment was not successful. So we want to try a second time. This time, we're going to use a regular size bouncy good egg. And we're going to use a giant ball with lots of peanuts to cushion the fall. Let's hope good eggs survive the drop from the bridge this time. All clear? Okay, good egg. Hope you make it this time. We're opening up. It's so fun to play. <gasps> the good egg is still good. Yay! Yay! It survived. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ah, oh, yay! Victory! Please like and subscribe to Cherry Teacher's Club. Cherry 
Juice Club.